How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Gianluca and I'm a second year medical student studying in Canada. So lately I've been getting a ton of messages from you guys on Instagram and on YouTube asking me to provide specifically more information on the Canadian medical system and I think that's great and I'm more than happy to do that. I know that there's already a lot of information out there on YouTube specifically thanks to channels like Med School Insiders but by providing a Canadian perspective I'd be able to directly help the Canadian students as well as the American and international students that wanted to make comparisons for themselves. So we're going to try this out. Today's video is going to be about the five most competitive Canadian medical specialties, as well as a very basic introduction to residency matching here in Canada. And if this is something that you guys want to see more of in the future, you got to let me know. Go ahead and flatline that like button and leave me a comment letting me know what you want to see me talk about in the future. So let's take it from the top. After undergrad and then any postgrad training that you receive like a master's or a PhD, you then move on to medical school and then eventually after that, at least from what I've heard, you graduate at some point. Now, when that's all done, you have your MD degree, you will officially be recognized as a doctor, but you will not be able to practice medicine in Canada until after you've gone ahead and specialized and completed a residency program. And just wanna highlight that point one more time, you do need to specialize here in Canada if you want to practice medicine. Now, what you choose to specialize in is totally up to you. You could do anything from family medicine that requires an additional two years of residency training to neurosurgery, which requires in some cases six or more Four years to eventually go and practice. Now to match into a Canadian residency program, medical students looking to eventually practice in Canada need to apply via the CARMS application service or the Canadian residency matching system. And if you're a Canadian student, you actually do this in your final year before you write your board exams, which means that when you apply for residency, you don't have any exams that are going to directly impact how you match or how you fare in the match when it comes to residency. It's not like down in the States where you have your step one score or your step two score, which is gonna be very important when you match. Here we have no exams done until after we've already matched into a residency program. So now we can go ahead and talk about the match rates themselves. And as it turns out, if you are a Canadian educated medical student, the match rates are actually really good. It's 97.7% after the first and second iteration of the match. And that's according to the 2020 data because every single year, the CARMS application um, service goes and publishes the results of last year's match. But that doesn't mean that this 97.7% of students actually got their first choice when it comes to specialty. So now we get to the fun part, possibly the scary part. We could go ahead and actually rank the competitiveness of these different residencies based on the data provided directly from the CARMS match. Now, the way that we could do that is actually looking at every single program individually and assigning the different programs an R value. The way that we get the R value is by taking the number of spots that these programs have for residents and dividing them by the total number of students that applied for a spot in the residency program to get the R value. So if more people apply and there are less spots, we get a lower R value, which means that the program is more competitive. And I really hope that I haven't confused you guys with that one. There are many people out there that will have you believe that this competitiveness, these R values are based solely on how much the specialties eventually pay for the doctors that graduate the residency programs. But that's, that's really just not true. We could actually see if you look on the other hand at the top 10 easiest residencies for you to match into in the 2020 cycle, you'll actually see that orthopedic surgery came in seventh for easiest residency to match into. And they're often cited as one of the highest paying surgical specialties here in Canada. They make on average about $465,000 a year, according to recent statistics. So there's my intro to specialty matching and residency here in Canada. If you guys want to know more, I'm going to go ahead and link a few articles in the description for extended reading. For those of you that just really want to get a jump on this thing. But other than that, let's jump straight to the top five medical specialties in terms of competitiveness as of 2020. Now, I'm actually really curious if any of you could predict this list beforehand. Let me know in the comment section below, because if you would have asked me what the most competitive medical specialties were back in undergrad, I probably wouldn't have come up with this list. But anyways, starting off in number five, so the fifth most competitive residency to match into, we actually had a two-way tie between neurosurgery and plastic surgery, coming in with an R value of 0.63. Now, according to the data that we have, plastic surgeons here in Canada will earn on average 
total $420,000 per year, while neurosurgeons will earn around $570,000 per year. Now, again, one of the reasons why I'm going to include the amount of money that we see from these specialties on average is really just to debunk the stereotype that pay is the only thing that determines how competitive a residency program is. And one more quick pause, guys, but the numbers that I'm giving you in terms of total pay for these doctors does not take into account overhead that they have to subtract or after tax dollars. It's just the stats that we see before all the other subtractions have to be taken first. As we already talked about before, the neurosurgery residency is a minimum of six years here in Canada, and that's if you don't include fellowships that some people opt to do down in the States, whereas the plastic surgery residency is around five years when everything's said and done. Coming in at number four is emergency medicine with an R value of 0.62 and an average pay of around $390,000 per year. Now to be an emergency medicine doctor here in Canada, there's actually two different ways that you could go in terms of residency. You could either opt to do the five-year program directly after graduating medical school, or you could instead do first a two-year residency in family medicine, and then right after that, match directly into an extended one-year add-on to your family medicine training, which is going to then qualify you to become an emergency medicine doctor. Now coming in third for the most competitive medical specialties here in Canada is cardiothoracic surgery with an R value of 0.59 in the 2020 match cycle. Now this residency is going to require six years of additional training after medical school, but these doctors are going to be making $620,000 per year on average. But coming in second for most competitive residencies is dermatology. According to the 2020 data, dermatology actually had a 0.56 R value and that residency program lasts about five years. These specialists then go on to make somewhere around $410,000 to $420,000 on average per year. And finally, coming in at number one for the single most competitive medical specialty here in Canada, this one actually kind of blew me away a little bit, ophthalmology, not because that was going to be the one, but because the R value for ophthalmology in the 2020 cycle was a 0.51, which means that for every two medical students that want to apply to be ophthalmologists, there's only one spot, and that's, that's a 50% chance. This residency program is going to require a five-year additional training period, but successful graduates of the ophthalmology training program are going to be making, on average, $810,000 per year here in Canada. Now, what does an R value of 0.51 really mean for the average student? If we go ahead and assume that the chances of any average student in Canada getting into medical school is somewhere around 10 to 20%, and then we factor in a residency matching R value of 0.51, what we could calculate is that even though the Canadian medical school match rates are really, really good when it comes to residency, your chances for that top most competitive program if you are just a regular undergraduate student at this point are less than 10%. It's about a 5 to 10% individual chance. Now I get that that sounds really really depressing but I don't want to leave you guys like that. Always remember that the statistics are going to apply to large populations whereas you as an individual get to go ahead and decide whatever it is that you want to do. If you want one of these more competitive medical specialties I'm not going to be the one to stop you and you shouldn't let the statistics stop you either. Be realistic with yourself, set your goals and then come up with a plan for how you're going to get there. But other than that thank you guys so much for watching today's video hope it was able to help see you all in the next one everyone take care